Hello students, welcome to Sobs' classes. Today we will be solving the ISI MSQV question paper from the year 2016. Today we will be solving question number 26 and question number 27 from the same paper. So let's begin with question number 26. In question number 26 it has been said that a box contains three coins. Out of those three coins, two are regular coins and one is a fake two-headed coin that is the probability of head is equal to 1 in that two fake headed coin since both sides have head. Now Bhagav picks a coin at random and tosses it and gets head. Then the probability that it is a two headed coin is 1 by 3, 2 by 3, 1 by 2 or none of the above. So for this first let us define two events A and B. Let A and B be two events. Such that A is the event where Bagha gets a head and B be the event where Bagha gets a head from the two headed coin so the probability the required probability that we are looking for is given by p of b upon a that is it is a probability where bagha gets a head from the two headed coin upon all the conditions where bagha gets a head so this is a condition that we are looking for here and P of B upon A is given by P of A intersection B upon P of A. Now P of A intersection B is given by the Bagha gets a head and also Bagha gets a head from the two headed coin. So basically it is one of the case from the three cases. So the probability of that happening will be 1 by 3. And probability of A is the case where Bagha gets a head. Now Bagha can get a head and the probability of that happening is 1 by 3 plus 2 by 3 into 1 by 2. This is, a, this is the probability that we are looking for. So this comes down to 1 by 3 by 2 by 3. This is equal to 1 by 2 and this is equal to option C. Let's move on to the next question. In the next question, the qu it is question number 27. In question number 27, it has been said that let f be a function which goes from r to r and it is a differentiable function such that f of x into f dash x is less than 0 for all x belongs to r. In that case, we have to find out whether fx is an increasing function or whether mod of fx is an increasing function or fx is a decreasing function or mod of f of x is a decreasing function. So we have been given that f which goes from r to r is a differentiable function. Also we have been given that f of x into f dash x is less than 0 for all x which belongs to r and we need to find out whether f we need to find out whether f of x is an increasing or decreasing function and also whether f dash x is an increasing function or a decreasing function mod of f of x, mod of f of x is an increasing function or a decreasing function not uh, i was mistaken before it is mod of f of x so let's begin now it has been given already it has been given that f of x into f dash x is less than zero this implies that if f of x is less than 0 then f dash x has to be greater than 0 since the uh, product is less than 0 and if f of x is greater than 0 then f dash x has to be less than 0 now if we try to draw it in a 
graphical formation then we can write let's first draw the axis this is the y axis and this is the x axis now f of x is less than 0 so basically uh, f of x is less than 0 and f dash x is greater than 0 so this can be of the form somewhat like this this is of this form that f of x is less than 0 and f dash x is greater than 0 this is this portion and in the second portion we have been given that f x is greater than 0 and f dash x is less than 0 uh, we can think of a curve like this where f of x is greater than 0 and f dash x is less than 0 so in any case we see that these are this kind of graphs satisfy this particular equation condition so we can basically write that if f of x is of the form in both of these cases if we take mod of f of x in that case the curve will change to the format let me show it by different um, color now if we take mod of f of x in this two in this particular case then mod of f of x will be this very portion so in that case we can see that mod of f of x is greater than 0 and also it is a strictly decreasing function it is strictly decreasing so that implies that mod of f is strictly decreasing and so the option d which is this option is the correct option so today we have solved question number 26 and 27 from the isi msq question paper of year 2016 we'll be solving the next questions in the subsequent videos till then keep watching sources classes videos for more solutions and content thank you very much